So practice of a meditation, many people have doubt that how does it help and why should we meditate? What is the purpose of a meditation? And it is very obvious to have those doubts, those questions, because practice of a meditation, you won't get instant results. It's not like you eat once and uh, you realize after you have eaten your tummy full. And sometimes after meditating for a couple of days or weeks and you still couldn't see the change. That's why doubt is obvious to be there. But what we have understood, whether it is from the Buddhist canon or Buddhist scripture or the neuroscience or brain surgeries or brain scans that meditation has significantly helped people's physical body and mental health they become a more healthier both physically and mentally Scientifically also proven that when mind is scattered around and unaware of it, constantly distracted, then it damages our physical body, basically insomnia, eating disorder, fatigue, tiredness, and unable to make the right decisions and unable to enjoy the moment here and now what you're doing what you're thinking what you're eating what you whatsoever and also it causes the mental disease stress anxiety depression unable to make the concrete decisions and that's it that is the reason we find uh, that meditation helps people to develop some sort of a resilience towards these and also develops confidence and more content, more positive and more happier in their lives. And that is the reason why meditation is important and one should do it and brain scans have also found that meditation helps to release some form of a hormones a decrease of a brain damages and decrease of Alzheimer And there are plenty of papers you can read on the scientific discoveries after someone has done meditation help their brain more healthier than before. And these facts again simply encourages you or inspires you and see the benefit of the practice of a meditation. So that's why Practice of a meditation is you, know, you don't have to think to be something special or desiring to get something special or wanting to be 
or something attaining something it's very simple practice and that is knowing what's happening when it is taking place at the time when you see it so knowing and seeing is the essential part of the practice and that is a mindfulness so being mindful of your mental state at that time or this very moment here and now apparent here and now what's happening how you're relating so being conscious about it in a very relaxed way not in a tense that I want to know what's going on but very relaxed the whole muscles are fully relaxed mind is fully relaxed your intention is relaxed motivation is relaxed all what you need is sharp awareness being aware of what's happening not external things that is taking place but internal insight and that is the practice <coughs> Some people spend time only working and working and working, never to be mindful of their own life, never to enjoy their own life. And practice of a meditation helps to enjoy the work in your life. A famous a Jin master, Thich Nhat Han, he said, when you're washing a dish, just wash a dish. When you are with someone, do not think that you are giving your time to them. Think that that is your time. So these are two very nice words spoken by him and this is so good our life in uh, general people thinking that I don't have time I have so many works to do and never enjoyed the work and never thought that they have their own times Time is never belongs to anyone. Work is never belongs to anyone. It's up to us how we perceive and how we hold on to it. So we need to manage it. And practice of a meditation is simply to manage that and enjoying the every moment, every action that you take everything that you are doing yes you do have to spend some time quiet sitting and practicing being a mindful of your own body and the mind but ultimately you're not sitting 24 7 days most of the time you're out there working thinking and practice of a meditation is to be mindful of that, aware of that. And to do that, first thing we do is to relax the body. Sitting in upright position, hands are comfortably placed, foot are, feet are comfortably laid. If possible, sitting on a floor. If not, they're on a sofa or on cushions. And try to minimize as many distractions as it possible. And having a 
conscious decision that I am going to meditate during this time. Doesn't matter what happened out there. Doesn't matter how big war going on or how big party is taking place. We simply traveling inward, sitting still, watching, knowing, seeing what's going on being introverts, relax both body and mind and aware what's going on. Simply observing, acknowledging, noting as it appears and letting go. Do not hold on to it or do not resist to it. Fully comprehending arises, vanishes, arises, vanishes. But obviously mind always needs somewhere to be because mind exists only when there is an object. So we have to have an object where mind can rely on or stand on. So you can choose an object to be which is related to the breath which is very conducive and helpful. Do not have to think, do not have to imagine. It's naturally, normally is there. An anchor, a base, we just stand there. Whenever something else happens, just be aware of that. Observing, acknowledging and noting and come back. simply being mindful of it as they are not as you want it to be so realize that is and release and return without having anything to do with it it's like a drop of water on a leaf of a lotus flower. A water doesn't touch the flower, uh, the leaf of the lotus flower, nor the leaf takes or soaks the water in. Complete separation, and yet enjoy the beauty of being together. It remains for a few moments and the water will just drops. All the knowing are same like that. Arises, vanishes. impermanent change taking place at all the time change what is unchanged is your grasp grasping towards getting or being greedy or resentment so no grasping at all no commentaries, no objections, no interference, knowing, seeing, releasing.
to the practice of a loving kindness meditation. Relax yourself. And bring your attention to your body and aware of sensations in your entire body. Feeling, sensing from inside. Whatever sensations you can observe. Being mindful of that sensations in your body. And sifting that attention to only your hands. Do not move even your fingers. Are mindful of any sensations that is taking place, whether it is in your fingers, arms, or entire hands. Whatever sensations that you can observe, be mindful of it. Maybe softness, hardness, palpitation heat or cold or experiencing of a non-existence of hand but only sensation only vibration only currents going on the voidness of your hands and bring that attention to your heart You may physically smile to feel the connection with your heart. So smile and feel the connection with your heart. And as you feel the connection with your heart, generating loving kindness and compassion to yourself, loving thought, good wish, and sharing to yourself may I be happy may I be at peace may I be free from ill will hurtfulness jealousy May I be free from hostility. May I be free from troubles of body and mind. May I be liberated, liberated. And similarly sharing this loving kindness and compassion to all other sentient beings. A 
first you may would like to extend the loving kindness and compassion to any particular person and bring it into your mind bring them into your mind and wishing sending good wish loving thoughts form of a kind gestures may you be well and happy may you be free from suffering may you be free from hurtfulness and hatred may no harm come to you may no danger come to you may you be liberated liberated similarly sharing loving kindness and compassion to all other sense and beings starting from the idea one and this room in this city, in this country, on earth, in the universe, whatever beings there are, are visible and invisible beings. May all beings be well and happy. May they be free from sufferings. May they be free from troubles of body and mind. May they be free from hurtfulness, hatred, jealousy, ill will. May they be liberated, liberated. May their well-being and happiness increase until the attainment of Nibbana. Nibbana Pachayo Hotu. And bring your attention to the hands again aware of sensations in your hands and to your body aware of sensations in your body and to your eyes And as you hear the gong at the third time, gently coming back to normal and reflect for a few moments. Pay respect to the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Arahang Sama Sambudo Bhagawa Vodang Bhagawan Dang Abhivadimi Savahado Bhagavata Dhamon Dhamang Namasami 
スバディバンノアバガワドアサワガサンカワサンガンナマミ